The most realistic robot in the world got some new skills. Google presented robots ready to fulfill your every wish. The manufacturer of humanoid robots Biami concluded the largest contract in history for the supply of 1,000 robots. Elon Musk shared news and plans of his companies, and the founder of Boston Dynamics gave up his robot atlas. See these stories and other high-tech news in today's one video. Here we go. The Amica robot got some new skills. Unfortunately, it's not legs or artificial intelligence, but new types of emotions. Now the robot has a total of 12 types. Last year, the British company Engineered Arts created a furor when it showed its humanoid robot Amica with advanced facial expressions. Now Amica's arsenal includes emotions such as disbelief, disgust, pain, and even what looks like regret. Today, Amica is the most realistic of all the humanoid robots, and even the gray color of its silicone skin and lack of hair doesn't stop you from believing how realistic it looks. In the future, the creators have promised to teach the robot to walk, but they've left the development of artificial intelligence for him to all comers with third-party developers. Alphabet, Google's parent company, has combined its two most ambitious research projects, robotics and artificial intelligence's understanding of language. All of this in an attempt to create an assistant robot that can correctly interpret commands in natural language. Everyday Robots robotic project has been around since 2019 and it's still in its infancy. The robots, which are supposed to perform simple tasks like fetching drinks and dusting tables, are still slow and indecisive. But now they've got an update, an improved understanding of language thanks to Google's big PAL-M language model. You can now say to one of the everyday robot prototypes, I spilled my drink, can you help? And the robot filters this instruction through its internal list of possible actions and interprets it as a get me a sponge from the kitchen. You can also text the robot from your laptop with things like, for example, I'm hungry, and it will bring you whatever it finds edible in the room. The resulting system is called PAL-M Say Can. In recent tests, robots were able to interpret 84% of 101 instructions correctly and successfully completed 74% of the tasks. Many are skeptical about humanoid robots, but the company Beyond Imagination, which presented its humanoid robot at CES 2022, was able to sign a contract for the supply of 1,000 of its robots. This is the biggest deal in the humanoid market history. And interestingly, Self Labs ordered Biami bots for their agricultural complexes, or rather so-called grow boxes. Each box will be equipped with solar panels, windmills, atmospheric water generators, 5G, and an upgraded version of the Biomni robot. And each one will be connected to the Cultivate Coin Game Simulator, which is what it's all about. The simulator will allow users to choose roles and learn more about farming and the growing process, as well as managing a business in this area. They'll be able to earn rewards in the game and participate in a process virtually. Biomini Omnipurpose Advanced Humanoid Robots with Artificial Intelligence will work autonomously inside crates tending to the growing crops. The creators of the robot claim it will be able to learn from human pilots to solve increasingly complex problems. Elon Musk revealed details about Tesla's humanoid robot. Many media outlets ran articles with such headlines after Musk's interview was published in a Chinese publication. Although, in fact, the entrepreneur said nothing new. Except that, in 10 years, everyone will be able to buy a universal humanoid robot Optimus as a gift to his parents, and it will now mow their lawn. Elon also confirmed that he would unveil a prototype robot in September, probably a piece of hardware. And after that, the project team will focus on improving the intelligence of the Tesla bot and solving the problem of high volume production. Every field that ensures a sustainable future is worthy of investment, Musk said in a recent interview published on the Beijing Channel website. Whether it's Tesla, Neuralink, or SpaceX, these companies were all founded on the common goal of improving the future of human life and creating the greatest possible practical value for the world. At the end, Musk invited like-minded Chinese companies to join the movement to develop clean energy, artificial intelligence, Neuralink, and space to create a future worth waiting for together. Tesla's Cybertruck will be more expensive than expected. This was announced by Elon at Tesla's annual shareholder meeting. 
The reason is that a lot has changed recently, including inflation. The Tesla Cybertruck is scheduled to go into production in mid-2023, but it will be more expensive than the $40,000 starting price announced back in 2019. Also, the Cybertruck's performance may not end up being what was announced. I hate to give a little bad news, but it was impossible to anticipate the inflation we saw and the various problems. But I can tell you that the Cybertruck is going to be one hell of a product, and it's going to be like one hell of a car. Tesla also raised prices on all models except the Model 3 by 10% back in June. Mark Reibert, the founder of Boston Dynamics, gave a great interview to IEEE Spectrum in which he revealed details about the creation of Artificial Intelligence Institute, which he will lead and in which Hyundai has just invested $400 million. He also shared the behind-the-scenes details of the usually closed Boston Dynamics company. Thus, Reibert admitted that he has long felt guilty about creating one-legged jumping robots. On the other hand, he said, it was technically interesting, but on the other hand, it's really hard to see how they could be useful at all. Reibert also said that Boston Dynamics was involved in creating Ibo and Querio robots for Sony. And the first Big Dog video wasn't posted by the company at all, but by someone else. But when the head of DARPA noted 3.5 million views on the video, the company's engineers realized how to become famous throughout the world without having a marketing budget. But the most interesting moments in the interview were, first of all, that the new institute will not continue working on the Atlas robot, although it is possible to buy a couple of robots for research, but it's not yet certain. And secondly, unlike the closed Boston Dynamics, the Institute of Artificial Intelligence will be an open organization and we can immediately learn from the scientific media about all of its achievements. Tela Existence, a robot startup from Japan, has been working for some time on robotic for filling shelves in Family Mart stores. It started with a humanoid robot, but ended up with a more practical solution. In collaboration with Microsoft and NVIDIA, the company has shown the final version of the robot, which will be deployed in stores as part of Japan's fight against labor shortages. The system with artificial intelligence will be responsible for filling shelves in 300 Family Mart stores, for which robots have already been put into mass production. The machines dubbed TXSCARA, which stands for Selective Assembly Robot, are largely autonomous, with remote control as backup just in case the artificial intelligence fails or detects irrelevant items. According to Tela Existence, each unit can replace one to three hours of human labor a day. Family Mart is not buying the robots, but will pay Tela Existence a monthly fee for the work, maintenance, and support of remote workers who can control the robot with virtual reality headsets if needed. Tela Existence says the bots can operate without human assistance 98% of the time. 300 stores is just the beginning. The startup aims to enter the U.S. and distribute its robots to 150,000 stores within just the next year. Japan has launched an experiment in which ambulance doctors will use VZUX M400 augmented reality glasses in the initial examination of severe patients, transmitting real-time data to doctors in the hospital emergency rooms. Thus, while the ambulance is on its way to the hospital, specialists can already start taking readings from the devices and examining the patient, looking at him through the eyes of the paramedics. Also, EMTs and paramedics themselves will be able to consult with specialists on their way to the hospital. Smart glasses Vuzix M400 are designed for corporate clients and provide their user with a picture in 4K at 60 frames per second. The headset can be controlled by sensors on the frame, gestures, or commands. The gadgets are drop, dust, and moisture resistant and have a battery life of 2 to 12 hours depending on the usage. Elephant Robotics has released a Raspberry Pi-based collaborative robot. My Buddy has two arms and many functions. At the same time, the developers assure that the price of the robot for its functionality is ridiculously low. The robot works with several accessories such as suction pumps, grippers, and more. In addition, users can make ready-made artificial intelligence kits by MyAGV, as well as detailed tutorials published by Elephant Robotics. MyBuddy helps users realize more applications and developments as a collaborative robot. The MyBuddy has a working radius of one arm of 280 millimeters and a maximum payload of 250 grams. It's lightweight and flexible, with 13 degrees of freedom, and in software, MyBuddy supports multiple programming environments. The robot also has a 7-inch interactive screen, two HD cameras with a resolution of 2 million pixels, and more than 20 built-in dynamic facial expressions. If you're interested in the robot, we'll leave a link in the video description. 
YouTuber and amateur engineer Alan Pan decided to reverse evolution and give snakes back their legs. To do this, he's building a device with four legs, in the central tube of which the snake can be placed. And there's two questions here. First, why? And second, what took Pan's team longer, building the device or convincing the snake to test it? Nevertheless, 3.7 million views later on YouTube, I guess he has the answers. The World Robot Conference 2022 was held in Beijing. We're preparing for you an exclusive report from the event straight from China, which will soon be released on the channel. You don't want to miss it. Subscribe to the Pro Robot channel, like this video, and don't miss any new episodes from the world of high tech.